I am on a fantastic journey to the birthplace of the Nishiki Goi. Here in Japan, a number of hard-working koi breeders are creating for many generations one of the most wonderful fishes on our planet. Welcome to the world of Nishiki Goi. Although a Chinese book from the Jin Dynasty mentions the koi as a colorful carp, it is assumed that breeding koi as an ornamental fish would have started in the 19th century in the Japanese prefecture Niigata. It was until 1914 that these standards became known to the outside world when the Niigata koi were exhibited at the Tokyo Koi Fair. <laughs> The Marujo Koi Farm is located in Mushige, or more precisely, in the Jamakosi Mountains of the Niigata area. For the breeding of koi, two million liters of water are available in the 77 mud ponds of the Marujo Koi Farm. The farm was founded in 1945 by Yukuchi Tanaka, and today the farm is run by the third generation of the Tanaka family. The three brothers Shigeyoshi, Mitsugu and Yasuyuki are creating and breeding one of the most beautiful koi of this area. These days, the Maruju Koi Farm has specialized in breeding Goromos, Tensho and Showa. Before we went back to our hotel, we get a small masterclass of Shigeyoshi Tanaka about the quality of his garomos. The holy grail for our koi hobbyist is perhaps the so-called mud ponds. Almost every koi that sells out to swim in the Japanese mud ponds around the summer is perfect because the koi can develop much better in a mud pond than in an artificial pond. These fish have just been harvested after swimming around for five months in a mud pond. These four-year-old koi fish are photographed and made up so that the owners can be informed at the end of the day. After our busy morning at the NND Koi Farm, we are finally ready for our first sushi. When we arrived at the Aoki Koi Farm, the breeder was selecting the koi that just came in from the harvest. 
Currently, Aoki breeds several metallic varieties with around 100 parent animals. Most of them are Deutsu metallic koi and are well known for their high quality. When the breeder was finished, we were finally able to select some beautiful two-year-old koi for our shop. We selected one box of koi and the breeder gave us a very good price. Nog een Duitse herwaken, Benny Komariu, een uh, Kijiro, een Duitse Sanke, twee Duitse Sanke. Every Friday, four times a month, there is a koi auction for local residents and dealers. The fish are collected by the auctioneers and numbered before they auctioned in the auction koi house later that afternoon. As a foranger, we are not welcome during the auction, but during the collection, I'm warmly welcomed here. Ah, When you visit Japan, it is worth to visit one of the thousand temples in the country. Unfortunately, filming inside is not allowed, but the outside is already breathtaking. After an impressive morning, we go to the Kawakami Koi Farm. The breeders are harvesting late this year, so the supply at the beginning of our koi trip is really low. We quickly select one small bowl with koi before we drive to the Maruhiri Koi Farm. Hij komt net terug en dan gaan we even binnen kijken. Nou Martin, wie weet uh, zwemt jouw uh, showa hier tussen. One of the customers looking for a good shigoi 
and hopes to succeed here at the Maruhiro Koi Farm. When you arrive at the Maruhiro Koi Farm, the first thing you see is the big round swimming pool with the amazing, big and beautiful koi. Unfortunately, his new dream fish is not there and we continue our way. Once back, at the Tanaka family, we can go straight to the Just Harvest Azugari fish. Azugari means carrying four in Japanese. For an annual amount, the breeder takes over the care of your fish. Because the fish grows further here, in the mud ponds during the summer, the results are often higher than those in their own pond. A big advantage of Azugari is the climate in Niigata. It can get very hot here in the summer times, which is very good for the growth of the koi. The breeder measures the new length of the koi and makes some pictures for the owners. We are closing today at Choguro Koi Farm, a flash visit where we search for a regular client for one beautiful jumbo platinum ogon. Really quick, we have chosen the best koi. Siguro for the for the chinap with the platinum ogon. We get the opportunity to select some Nisai played in a Mogon and the reader is checking the sex of the koi. Morning today, we're going to harvest the Maruju koi farm, big mud pound, with of course the Tensha Showa, Showa, Sanke, Asagis, and lots of more big koi. So I say, come on, let's go.
Before we drive to the Koi Museum, I have to buy a present for my three-year-old son. A big challenge here in Japan, given the huge choice in toys. Not all the toys are child-friendly, but they think differently about this. The Nishiki Koi Museum in Japan, Ojiya, is a place you must visit when you explore in Niigata. Beside all the beautiful koi and boizai you can enjoy, you are able to learn more about the Nishiki Koi history. In 2004, there was a big earthquake in the Niigata area that also destroyed parts of the Koi Museum in Ojiya. After the earthquake, the local breeders donated their koi to the museum to get the museum up and running again. The impact of the earthquake was so heavy that a lot of breeders lost big numbers of koi. The indoor pond contains about 200 big koi that you can feed during your visit. The outside pond contains about 100 koi. Each visitor can adopt a koi for a certain amount. In return, you will get a picture and your name at the entrance of the koi museum. For less than 5 euros, you can enjoy the beautiful koi museum in Japan. <laughs> Je mag de camera niet eens laten. We start our fifth day at the Isa Koi farm, where they just arrived from the harvest. After a visual inspection, the koi's get directly into the ponds and are ready for sale. We notice after five days of our trip that the breeders are harvesting more and more koi. Hiroi, also better known as Konias, is busy with the selection and retrieval of the new fish that just came out of the mud pond. <laughs>
We are lucky, we have the first choice and are happy that we succeed with buying the koi here at Koi Nias. English? I've got me! I'm fine, and you? Eh? And you? I'm, I'm okay. okay. Ifo, and your name? Yuma! 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 Okay, I come back, yes? TV! 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 Yes! TV! Yes! YouTube? YouTube! Yeah! iPhone 6? iPhone 6? Nou, ze willen mijn uh, telefoon willen ze meenemen. iPhone 5. iPhone 5. 5. 5. 5S. 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 5S.
Two or draws and ten. The, the, the only numbers sort of around. Uh, do you? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, one person has what Hele mooie Maruta Kwaku, zeg ik hier. 9% vragen kans vrouw. Nog niet kwamen. Dus dit is helemaal top. Precies wat we doen. We'll do few fish in the morning time in the school day. Ik heb hier een hele mooie zank tussen zien zitten. Dit zit vol met mooie vis eigenlijk. Er zit één vierjarige zank bij die er gelijk uitspringt als je kijkt naar de body. Er zit er ook eentje bij. En dat is die. Hele, hele hoge kwaliteit gaan we. Er worden nu weer vissen één bij één, één op één worden ze geveild, gelood. Vis die ik dan echt wel het mooiste vond uit deze bak was ook de meeste anima voor. Gek is dat de zanker van vier jaar en echt een kanonskogel is, niet gekocht werd. Het is echt een hele mooie vis. Next one is G2 Sanke, 3 years female, 63 centimeters. Very beautiful pattern. And we also have one internet bidding. Poor body. <laughs> <laughs> poor body or full body. And we also have two body. other poor bits poor body, he said. <laughs> to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> they were both waiting to, to the right moment. <laughs> this is the game. I love it. Ja, er wordt dus door twee mensen een bieding uitgebracht op de Kwaakel. Ze zijn nu aan het kijken wie het uh, hoogste bot heeft gedaan.
We zijn bij Omo geweest en we staan nu bij het Dolfinarium. Ja. Ze hebben hier gewoon zeekoeien zwemmen. Het kop, hè? Zo kop. Kijk die hier beneden. Dikke pens, hè? Unfortunately, it's already our last day of our trip to Japan. It's a busy day with a full agenda. After I've selected some fantastic koi, including some nice kohakus and goromos, we go to the Nagaoka Koi Show. Dat is de eerste vis van bonen. Het zijn er inmiddels iets meer geworden. Die hele mooie doodje. Zanken. Ja, een bovenste. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, so you don't miss any single video anymore. Also this year we are planning to make some really awesome koi videos. Educational, but also a lot of fun. Thank you for watching, see you next time.